The Freund family lives in a typical bi-level home in Toms River, New Jersey. They moved into the house in 1978 for the price of $52,000. So the couple is moving down to Florida for retirement, but their home has been on the market for six months. So we delayed actually putting the house on the market until April. So now we find ourselves in basically a down market. There are just a few things I would change. Number one, I would take the plantings out from underneath that pear tree simply because it foreshortens the yard and makes the whole thing look smaller. Secondly, this driveway, which is a status symbol, it's a beautiful driveway, has a lot of stains. I would steam clean the driveway as well. A cheap thing to do, but an important change. And here, this is the owner's name, and there's nothing wrong with their name, but you want to get rid of anything that's personal in the house, because the whole idea here is to get a buyer to walk in and feel it's there, so you want to get rid of everything personal. There are three things wrong with this house, and it's true of every single room here. One, the clutter. There's clutter everywhere, and people can't see past clutter. Secondly, there's not enough light in the house, and yet it's a sunny house, because the curtain treatments are all heavy and they keep the light out. People love light. And last, the purpose of a room should be perfectly clear when a buyer walks in. This room, I'm not sure what the purpose is. It has an ironing board, a small sofa here. It should either be a den or a bedroom, and because it's not, it's going to cost the seller a lot of money. When we went in to discuss it, I really believed if we reduce that price to $299, slash the price, that we would get a rush of buyers and they would bid that house up in price. But ah. of course, that was too scary. And so, of course, we compromised at $339. What you want to do is retake the pictures like we have done in Tom's River. We fixed up every room, so every room now looks great. And we replaced every picture on the website. People are going to see that and like the house. The key to doing this for yourself is you Use a wide-angle lens, pull down all the drapes, or at least open them, mm -hmm. pick a sunny day, and get the pictures reshot. Because if they look good, the website's your best friend. If they're not looking good, forget about yeah. it. You're keeping buyers yeah. away. Keep Another very inexpensive trick is to simply get car magnets for your family's cars. Oh. Those friends are driving all over Tom's River all week long with magnets on their car, showing the house and saying the sale's on on Sunday. It's inexpensive, and it's effective. We gave this house in Tom's River, New Jersey, a facelift. with only seven days and a shoestring budget. This was always a beautiful living room, but what we've done is we've removed some of the furniture, taken away the window treatments, and cleaned it up totally, and now you can see what a big, spacious room it really is. Any buyer walking into this room knows immediately what it is. It's the den. It has a clear purpose, and why this is important is because buyers just don't know how to imagine the space. You have to make it very clear, show them exactly what it's here for. After six days of preparation, the big one-day sale finally arrived. The team raced against the clock to put final touches in place, anything to draw a crowd, including a hot dog vendor and a DJ. Okay, sounds good. Let me hear you. Thank you for coming today. We have a one-day sale. For you. Over here. Hey, buyers, where are you? Potential home buyers showed up one by one, more than 80 people by the end of the day. We were anxious to know what they thought. Did someone see their future home here? What happened? <laughs> well, we had a fantastic turnout. We had 80 people walk through this house. So the fish were certainly out, but they were not biting. Honestly, we have I've learned that there's no Hollywood ending. This is a real house with real people, yep. and it's a real buyer's market. That buyer is in total control of today's market.